Hello and welcome. I'm happy to have you here with me today. Now, there is a disgusting, shocking lack of Jean-Claude Van Damme in my movie watching profile. In fact, I have seen exactly two films with Jean-Claude Van Damme and um, both of them are um, Kung Fu Panda movies. I'm disgusted with myself. I of course know who Jean-Claude Van Damme is. I, I know, you know, more or less what he's about. I know him as a personality, not as an actual actor. So we're going to be fixing that today. We're going to be watching Time Cop. It was just the first one that popped in my head that I knew had Van Damme in it. So yeah, enough of that. Uh, let's watch Time Cop. Now, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to use my big old brain to guess that it involves a cop who deals with time travel. I did not get invited to the gifted and talented program in fourth and fifth grade by not knowing how to use this. She's from Ferris Bueller and Legend. It said this movie is 97 minutes long and I think at least 20 of them have to be these credits. Okay. So this is right in the middle of the Civil War. I'd be much obliged if you give me that gold. <laughs> when someone's that forward, they're usually crazy and or dangerous. I told you. A matter of the utmost importance. I cannot stress too much the utmost secrecy. Utmost? Are we sure it's utmost? His field of research has been time travel. Well, beam me up, Scotty. I mean, what did you think? You think this guy brought you in here for all this to waste your time screwing around? We have to form a brand new covert agency to actually protect time. This feels like it's moving really fast. How much is this gonna cost? More than a little and less than too much. <laughs> One of our foreign competitors goes back in time and invents the computer or the airplane or the automobile. He gets our technology and Iraq becomes the first country to have the atomic- You're giving this guy ideas. Anyone here want to cheer the oversight on this program? Yeah, I'll do it. Young Senator McComb. You like him, George, very much like you, except his dorsal fence a bit bigger. What? I like how this guy's like, yo, time travel is real. And this other guy's first thought is, how much is this going to cost me? I mean, it's a consideration, but I mean, isn't the rest of it kind of important too? Like, that's a huge deal. There's never enough time. And you never want to miss an opportunity. Yeah, it's some kind of game. <laughs> I thought it was a code for a minute, but it... What? That guy's a purse snatcher. <laughs> Ooh. Between the lines. I should get the fuck out of here. Good. <laughs> Man, look at that. Not even a scene. Hardly anybody even stopped. Smart kid, he read my mind. With your English, he doesn't have much choice. <laughs> Is this TEC thing dangerous? I don't bake cookies for a living. Yeah, right? You're gonna be very happy you have this. I can see into the future. Then how why'd you have to ask him if he was taking the job? We both have the afternoon off. <laughs> Whoa, whoa! Didn't have seeing Mia Sarah's boobies on my bingo card for this movie, but I mean, I would not say no. I have something I wanna tell you. Pregnant. I said I was sorry. It's not like I have a choice. This is what I do. I know that's what you do. It's just that things are different now. What are you talking about? Pregnant. There's something you want to tell me? Yes. Pregnant. Can you wait until I get back? Sure. I mean, maybe. Nope, never mind. I was about to say something terrible is gonna happen. Ah. I knew it. I knew he was involved. Who are you? You're a smart boy. Why don't you sleep on it a while? Jesus. 
Well, that's not how I expected this to go. Oh! Oh, he's got his vest on! Okay. No! Holy fuck. Alright. Went off the roof. Shit happens. Excuse me. I hate Mondays, am I right? Yeah. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Mr. Edward. Just another day at the office. Keep this up, Pete. You're gonna be out of a job. Oh, it's the depression. That's right. Ah, okay. He's finding shit to invest in. <laughs> None of that means shit to me. Uh-oh! How you doing, partner? Ex-partner. Oh, that's how it is. You can do this by yourself. Who are you working for? I'm not hurting anybody. That's not what he asked you. I got to take you back. So it's been a while since his house blew up. Ten rounds with John L. Sullivan himself. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it go for you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> you lost all your teeth. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, kick his ass. Mr. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to blow her away. Like, work couldn't get any worse for these people. Oh, out of ammo. Doesn't look too good, Lila. Let me go, Max. Fuck now, Scooter. Senator McComb, he's gonna be president. He's doing this to get money for his campaign. Whoa! Well, he was committed, I'll give him that. <laughs> well, that's gonna mess a few people up. Tell her. Agent Atwood, have you something to say on your own behalf? He won't talk. Take care of yourself, Max. Death to be carried out immediately. What? <laughs> they just finished what he was going to do. Poor bastard. Tomorrow might have been a brighter day. Oh, dear. We have to talk. In a minute. Now. I said in a minute. And I said now. He has to vote on your annual budget. He'd like to see how it's being spent. <laughs> I know Matuzak. I don't know who he is, but... I Tell me, uh, are these all of your agents? Most of them. Hope! Oh. You wouldn't mind if Agent Walker accompanied us, would you? I'd love to hear about his most recent mission. So he's gonna set him up. That's one of the dangers of having an agency like this. I wonder why he wants it disbanded. Nothing worse than a rogue cop. Except the guy who paid him. If there is such a guy. There, there always, always is. is. <laughs> I lost my witness. Well, I trust you'll keep working on it. You can bet on it. I was gonna say you can count on it. But yeah, you're making it a little too obvious. He's gonna he's gonna have him set up. Senator McComb was Jack Parker's partner and sold out just before the company got the patent on that chip. Oh. I hope you keep trying to get your man. I never quit. Just circling each other like two tigers. One tiger much cooler and better looking than the other. Trends are not quite what we want them to be. <laughs> Look at that car. <laughs> I don't see how you get it all the time. Jeez. Agent Walker has already cost me that much. Okay, we're gonna have a little chat. I know that guy too. He also said Macomb has half of the agency. He doesn't have me. I bet he does. Well, fuck you too. He's gonna close the agency. Can't trust anybody. You haul him in front of the commission court, you better have enough evidence to plug up the fucking Potomac River. Well, you should always have all the evidence. When I said Macomb hasn't bought me, you were supposed to say... I know that. He can't say that. You can't trust anybody. I don't trust you. It looks like Optimus Prime in the Ecto-1 had a baby. <laughs> Ooh, I like that noir music with the sax and all. Play tape. It's going to look exactly like this when I'm finished. He better save her by the end somehow. The white supremacist party has qualified for matching funds. The what? No! 
Sources close to the Macomb camp indicate the senator is out of money. So he's getting desperate. Messages. Uh, um. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Why would you stop halfway through cutting an onion? Quite the twitchy little guy, aren't you? How dare you let him land a blow on you? Oh, it's gonna break. He's gonna break it. Why didn't you break it? Who sent you? Taser face is awake. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Nice day. <laughs> oh, and a perfect split! Damn, look at that. Walker? He's fine. Who do you think threw the guy out the door? Atwood was your partner. Internal Affairs isn't convinced you can be trusted anymore. She's not going to follow me around. The disturbance has just jumped from four to six, sir. <laughs> Damn it, Ricky, I catch you fucking this machine again, I'll break your neck. Looks like safe sex to me. Can't get any safer. It's right here in Washington. Shit. Come on, you're out of here. Probably not just a simple robbery. Field rated in weapons and tactics and speak three languages. Impressed? No. He was your friend and you still asked to go after him. He crossed the line. Or he crossed you. Okay, well, wouldn't it have looked worse if he'd said, I refuse to go after my friend? When the launch goes wrong, they're the guys who scraped the wall. Ooh. You do look like the Volmer twins. Who are the Volmer twins? The last ones who got scraped off the wall? Ah, uh, this definitely seems like the kind of job you do when you really got nothing duff to lose and you really don't care about living anymore. You'll be okay, you speak three languages. Blast to the past, I don't know if I trust this guy with my life. I never noticed that wall before. Simulated. Yeah, this is my first real launch. No kidding. Blood pressure's gonna loosen her teeth and her pulse is pushing 140. Whoa! What do you think about? Not swallowing my tongue. That is relaxing. Have they ever lost a pod during the launch? Ask the rollers. I'll do that. Where are they? See those two red spots? 11, 10. Oh god. I told you! Fourth and fifth grade. Creepy. Is this the hottest thing or what? So it's the guy who was just um, doing virtual reality sex. Sunday, October 9th, 1994. This is not that long before his house exploded. I kind of like to call myself and tell me not to sleep with Bobby Morgan after my party. <laughs> Smart woman would call Bobby and give him some advice. Oh, that is a good idea. My dad, when he started reading about time travel, he said it was the biggest threat to the world as a nuclear bomb. He's right. Yeah, I was gonna say he's right. Someone you knew, huh? So where is she? She was killed. Now, right now, she's just at, probably at her house building a birdhouse or some shit. I must have thought about going back and changing that. Who, who wouldn't? You'd have to be a, a psychopath to not think about that. Senate. Take the back and wait for my call. This is probably a trap. The chip is the future of this company. And since you don't agree, walk away. This is the deal that goes bad. If I were you, I wouldn't cash that check. And then in the future, he won't be out of money. I'm a United States Senator. Hurting me is a federal offense. Ooh, that'll stop him. Got a uh, special NSA briefing coming up. Oh, Christ, you're me. The fact that he's you didn't give it away? Right in the mouth. Breeze. Oh, uh, you had to do it the proper way. You couldn't just hit him. Drop the guns now. But hurting him is a federal offense. What are you gonna do? You gonna jump? That's how the Volmers would do it. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. But yeah, you know, I'll give it to you. Top ten percent will get richer. The other ninety percent can emigrate to Mexico. Delightful. You plan too far ahead. Obviously you don't. 
Oh, there's a big fat fucking shock. Let's finish up and get out of here. He's running for president. I'm voting early. Bitch. Boom. Somebody died. Maybe you. So what the hell? Was she just a fabulous actress? <laughs> I love how they try hitting him with big heavy things they can't even wield. That hasn't worked for anybody so far. Clearly they tried to take him out too early because they didn't realize they should have gone for the head. You can tell this guy doesn't have that much money because he has the most ineffective goons. Oh, cool! Well, that's not good. Do you do me a favor? Would you lay off the fucking candy bars? That's good advice for any past self. Mine would have been, um, Ben and Jerry's and chicken wings. We're just leaking flammable liquid all over the place, aren't we? Ooh, shoot his legs and see if they explode. With all this cryo stuff around, somebody's got to get shattered. Have a nice day. Ouch. I knew they wouldn't let me down. Don't give up without a fight. Never cross my mind. Oh. Mm, gotta have your woman do it for you. I don't want to fight a woman. Then don't. You're gonna have to. Change my mind. Yeah! Okay. At least it looks like you learned to go for the head. Lucky you got back. They're getting ready to tear up these tracks. <laughs> it's all different. He's way out ahead in all the poles. He's probably out buying running shoes for his transition team. Oh, no! What's the matter? It's been headed this way for months. Not for him. He's changed the future. What are you talking about? He's buying the presidency. Look at this guy all slick and neat. Who the hell do you think I can sell this story to without a smoking gun and about 50 eyewitnesses? It's not like it's a time travel agency. If she's alive, we've got him. You understand that? We've got the guy. He's got to go back to be sure she's dead. We have no authority to get in there. But what about Ricky? Yeah, Ricky, what about you? But if he's back, he's already told the story to Matusa. He's gonna have to be erased. This is where they go back and try to kill him. It would be too much trouble to call me Richard. Richard. How about Dick? We've got to uh, vent the fuel shunts. You'll have to wait while I get off right now. Yep. Was I your only friend? <laughs> if I'm off on velocity or trajectory, you're gonna be an omelet. Well, he can't stay in this timeline. You know, I've had your wife's goulash a hundred times. Always too much salt. I'm just fighting words. Annual launch initiation alert. Please tell me they get splattered. Somehow. I don't care how. Launch. Oh. Launch it! Ha ha ha! Fire! Ah! He almost got hit by some shitty CGI. Q 50 million people in the comments telling me there's no CGI in there. Bingo! Oh! Somebody was at an OB to get a positive pregnancy test. If I'm wrong about that, I'm gonna look so stupid. But, I mean, how are you gonna trust this woman? She fully betrayed you. My home has made some changes. You were never in the TDC. I can't be. I had training for six years. Time travel. I want to make things right. You sure? I don't even know why you did it. He won't be able to see, like, access to, like, other blood tests or anything, will he? He's gonna see his wife's name somewhere in there. Oh, I saw it.
Oh, he is definitely going to be saving her now. To hell with the regulations, to hell with the space-time continuum. Oh, she's dead. No! Uh, that's not gonna look good for you, my man. Yeah, you guys don't stick out anywhere you go, do you? Oh yeah, you guys got no shot. Nice. Pictures me back in memories. Not sure why I want a memory of walking around the mall, but hey, you know. So I wonder what is there anything he could change here? Uh, uh. We have to go. Trust me. Trust me. How is this going to work if you steal her away from your past self? Your past self's going to get pissed. Please, just tell me what happened to you. We don't have time. To me. It's Max. I can't believe this. Try. <laughs> Try. What am I like 10 years from now? Um, let's not talk about that right now. Today you have something very special to tell him. What are you here to prevent? What's gonna happen? Later. Again, let's just... It's just probably best you don't know. Stay and meet with him. Don't tell him anything, please. Time travel is such a menace. Well, then you never want to miss an opportunity. Are you busy? She did seem kind of strained. I thought that was just so we wouldn't be sure what was going on, but would that be crazy if he was there before? I kind of want to go back and look. Okay, he's just gonna tail him. Did not tell him? He didn't give me a chance. You know they're gonna be here. Why don't you... Why didn't you get them out of the house? Am I dead? No. Uh, yeah. Why can't we just run away? They would come back as many times as it takes. He wants it to happen this way because he knows they're gonna be here. I'm pregnant. Go in the bathroom. Lock the door. You pay attention. Of course, now isn't this changing him? Is it, isn't his changing his memories and stuff? Surprise. Who the fuck are you? Friend of the family. <laughs> Don't go down. That's right, they can't be in the same place together. That's right. Yeah. It was a TEC car. Son of a bitch doesn't know how to die. Ain't got time to die. I know it's not the line. I don't care. It felt good. <laughs> this is so much funner when we're the predator, not the prey. That's a trap. Oh no, it's not. Oh, it is a trap. I'm falling down the stairs again. Whoa. I like this in the dark fighting. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, no. And the antenna in a lightning storm, honey. Ah! Whoa, no, 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 no. Ah! Oh, fuck. Man, it's back. He just got his hand stomped on and he's holding her up with it. Nothing soft to land on, do you? We throw your body down there and we will. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet. Ooh. I wonder if uh, future Max is going to die. You know, let's face it, future Max has literally nothing to live for. Stay off. That wasn't what I wanted, but he is wearing his vest. We knew that we do know that. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, oh, shit. Correct. That's gonna hurt. <gasps> Rooster to a hen with one shot. <laughs> Fuck. I refuse to believe this guy could have an upper hand on him. 
There we go. Whoa, where I'm so surprised. You see, I'm an ambitious, Harvard educated visionary. You're a prick. Polls have me winning by 28 points. It's the biggest landslide since Nixon. Yeah, how'd that work out for him? <laughs> He's not messing around. What do you want? You're a bright boy. Why don't you sleep on it? No. I did that. Yeah. So how is this? How are we going to fix this? How are we going to fix this? What are you going to do, shoot me? There's a bomb that's going to go off any second now. He has a better idea. You know, usually I hate doing things more than once, but in this case, I don't see any other option. I do. Uh oh! No, nobody's got a future. Okay. Womp womp. Get out of here. Go. Go. Yes! You two should be closer. It's so bad, but it's so good. <laughs> Ethically, he's in the clear because she she wouldn't have died if they hadn't fucked with time travel. So is he gonna disappear then, I wonder? Re-entry sequence is complete. Okay. Okay, normal. Ten years ago, Macomb left his office, disappeared. Nobody's ever seen him since. Okay. I, 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 I remember. <laughs> okay, she never got killed. This time, stay away from trouble. Do I know you? <laughs> Bobby Morgan still waiting for a second chance. You work at a time travel agency and just, you know, when someone says weird stuff like that, it's just gotta make you go, Whoa, shit. What did I miss? Dad! <laughs> Aww. What kind of day job? A weird one. I know it's a more dramatic thing but does this just mean he doesn't remember anything he doesn't remember any of the pregnancy the birth the first steps the first words any of this kid's life he doesn't even know the kid's name you all right great maybe the memories will come back to him slowly maybe it just needs some time Okay, so that was Time Cop, and I thoroughly enjoyed that movie. That was a lot of fun. I love a good ass-kicking action movie. I love them. The 90s was full of them. This was a great example of it. Time travel is, is kind of iffy with me sometimes. I don't tend to like time travel when it's serious, you know, and they try to make it realistic and follow you know because if you make it serious and realistic you have to follow rules if you're just having fun with it like in this or you know back to the future bill and ted stuff like that you don't have to follow any rules and i think time travel is much funner when there's no rules i'm very happy i think this was a great choice for my very first official van damme experience he was clearly the star of this show this was all about him the action scenes superb his his one-liners, I loved him. I didn't know he was funny. I thought it was quite funny. It, it, his delivery, uh, his timing and all that. Um, Mia Sarah did a great job. She's beautiful. She's talented. Love her. The villain was very effective. I hated his guts. I loved his comeuppance. I know there's fantastic movies from every decade, but just for me, there's something special about the 90s, and this was just a 90s action thriller through and through it had it had all the elements that you look for and i loved every second of it i hope you liked my reaction to time cop if you did of course don't forget to like and subscribe check the patreon for the full length reaction i appreciate y'all being here i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you next time